Hey everyone and welcome back. So the other day I put a poll on my Insta stories of which stores you guys wanted me to go into and the ones that were most popular were Topshop, Mango, and Zara. So that is where I'm going to be bringing you along today and Topshop is up first. Okay, you guys, so to start off, I have something on from their new collection. So this is a suit set. It has a blazer and a skirt, which is really cool. Um, the skirt and the blazer I'm both wearing in a six, but I would recommend sizing up in the skirt because it's really, really tight on me. And then I've also got on this white top here. It's very see-through, as you can see. I would definitely recommend wearing something under it. But yeah, I, I really like this. I just would definitely size up in the skirt if I were to get it. This gray sweater, I just loved the look of it. I like these turtlenecks that stand straight up that you don't have to roll over because I feel like it takes a lot of the thought process out of it for me personally. And I paired it with the little skirt that I had on to show you the full length of it not tucked in. That's how long it is. I think this is a really nice winter basic, especially because we still have a lot of winter to get through, at least here in New York. So I'm very into this one. So next I want to show you two things. This is a black t-shirt that's on sale for $8, which is amazing. Um, that was the full length of it. But with these pants, I would tuck it in. Can we talk about these pants for a second? They're amazing. They're currently on sale for $40. Um, I'm wearing a US 6, and I think I could possibly even go down a size because they're a little loose here and they're a little long close to the bottom as you can see I put my boots on to try them on I think they're really cool though let me know what you guys think also I saw this like teddy coat on sale in the sale section and there was only a size 6 left so I figured I might as well grab it and show it on for you guys if I can find a link it'll be in the description box down below it's really warm like I was always concerned with teddy coats that the thing is that they're not warm on the inside so how are they actually warm? This one feels pretty warm. Yeah, I'm pretty into this look, like 10 out of 10 would wear. So same t-shirt again, but look at this skirt. It's a red corduroy skirt. I think it's so cute. I actually am wearing the size six in their tall range, which I think is actually so smart that I haven't tried on stuff in their tall range in a while, but it does add that extra length if that's something that concerns you. Like I have long legs and sometimes the skirt will fit perfectly everywhere, but just look really short on me. Anyway, I'm so glad I grabbed this. It's $30. I'm 100% getting this. Like I think my wardrobe needed this and didn't even know it until right now. So this is what I was talking about about skirt length. So this is the same skirt in a polka dot print, but it's actually a little bit shorter because it's the regular length. So if you ever have the problem with length in Topshop, definitely try their tall range. Um, this one is $20. I don't know why this one's 30 and this one's 20, but awesome either way. The sales associate was able to pull the smaller size of the pants for me. And I think you guys can see it's just a little too tight. So I think it's one of those cases where I'm right in between sizes, which is very annoying but oh these are so cute and for 40 bucks it's a good deal so if you're thinking about these and as you can probably tell corduroy is a big big trend for right now um this is the last thing i'm trying on in top shop it's this cute little like overall dress so it's very straight cut but you could always like add a belt or something if you wanted to cinch it a little bit i've just paired it over the same black t-shirt that i've been wearing um this one i'm wearing a size six and it's 75 um i think this is so cute and a really good layering piece for winter I feel like I kind of have a similar colored dress at home that I can't picture right now, so I'm not entirely sure if I need it, need it, but I definitely like the look of it. Um, I know it's a little dark in here, but I'll obviously link everything below and you guys can check it out on the website. So I've actually bought so much from Zara over the last few weeks that I get the sense that I'm not actually going to be trying too much on in here or shopping the sale, but I'm just gonna bring you guys around the store and show you a couple of things that are on sale that I think are cool or some things that I already own that you can get now on sale. Guys, you know this leopard tank that I have at Zara? It's on sale for $15, $16. 
come get it. These little like bracelet bucket bags with the knitting on them are also on sale right now for $20 instead of 50. Comes in white too. If any of you guys were looking for snakeskin boots, these are on sale right now for $40 down from $140. Like, okay, that's cool. Here's the heel and what they look like. Just remember the plaid dress that I have from Zara. Here is a super similar one that's on sale for $16. So that's a pretty good deal. This is my tweed bag that you all love from Instagram um, is actually on sale as well. It's 19 now and I think it was like 49 before. Um, I couldn't find a link last time I checked, but obviously if I can find one, it will be down below. Look at all of these bags. Look at this little mock croc pink one. Truly so cute. My general consensus is if you're going to come in and shop the Zara sale, definitely put your focus on shoes and bags because they're at such good prices right now and a lot of the clothing is kind of just discounted party wear from the holiday season. So, oh my God, I literally just saw that. Like guys. So many cute little bags and for $20, like all of them. If you're looking to revamp your accessories, definitely hit up the Zara sale. Okay, you guys, so I've been thinking about these boots for a while. They have this like stretchy part here. That's my sock, by the way. That's where the boot's on. They have the stretchy part here. They've got the buckle and they're on sale. I'm wearing a size 40, which I would normally be a 39, but I only saw the 40 and I think they actually fit pretty well. The only thing that's bumming me out is I just took a lap around the store and they're not the most comfortable. So I think I'm gonna take a pass on these. All right, so we've got a funky lighting situation here in Mango, but just want to show you guys a couple of things. So first of all, they have touchscreen fitting rooms in the Soho location now, which is very cool. Um, so this is a sweater that's on sale. It's on sale for $35. I'm wearing a size small and it's just very cute. I know the lighting is a little annoying, but it's basically like a light gray slash cream color. It's a little bit more on the gray side, I would think. Um, and it could be tucked in. You guys know how I do my sweater tuck situation. So you could kind of tuck it in, wear it with some high-waisted jeans for that kind of look. So this isn't a color I would normally go for, but I saw it and just thought it was really cute. Again, it's got that high neck without being a rollover neck, which I like. Um, it is $40. I'm not sure if it's on sale or a new collection, but that's pretty solid for a winter knit. The sleeves come up a tiny bit short just so you know, but I like that it has this auto cropped length. Like this is a good sweater for someone like me who gets sweaty very quickly. Guys, possibly the best mango sale find is the outerwear right now. This is a red wool coat. I'm pretty sure it's all wool. I'll put the exact um, fabric makeup on the screen for you guys, but this is amazing. It was 230 and it's down to 150 or 160. The tag is behind me. Um, that's a pretty, pretty good deal. Here you go. So here's what it looks like when it's done up. I like that the tie comes above the button so you can see both. Um, and it comes pretty far over. You could probably slide it even more if it was chilly out or you could leave it more open if it was warmer. But this is an amazing find from this sale. So if any of you, Andrew's texting me, um, if any of you love red as much as I do, this is definitely something to check out. Okay, and here's the last thing that I'm trying on for you guys. How cute is this coat? I mean, seriously. So this is definitely more of a statement coat. It's pretty thin and it is fully lined, but it's just not super warm from what I can tell. But yeah, this is definitely cute if you're looking to spice up your winter outerwear situation. It was 170 and it's down now to 120. So that's a $50 savings, which is pretty good. Yeah, I like this one a lot too. Okay, so just got out of Mango. I would definitely say for Mango, focus on outerwear when you're shopping their sale because it's actually all still very like in style and I think that that would be the best use of your money there. I'm actually gonna pop into one more bonus store in this vlog. Um, I have one thing in particular I'm looking for and we'll see if I end up buying it. I just quickly popped into Everlane also because I've heard good things about their t-shirts. So this is the boxy fit with the pocket. It retails for $16. Um, they don't have the one without the pocket in the store so I think I'm going to 
end up ordering it through the store and it'll get shipped to my apartment. But I love the fit of this. I love, it's the perfect t-shirt. It's slightly cropped. I really like the fit of it. And for $16, like, why not? I just got back home. Um, thank you guys again for the store recommendations. It's always really helpful to hear where you would like to see me go shopping. Um, so if you have any recommendations or suggestions for future videos, feel free to leave them in the comments. So the only store that I actually returned with like physical items from was Topshop. Like I said, I pretty much own everything that's in Zara right now. Um, but I did mention obviously some of the items that I already have that are on sale um, and some other good things that are there if you want to check them out and then mango I actually did go back and forth on the red wool coat but I placed an ASOS order the other day that contained a coat in it so I think that was kind of my coat quota shopping for the week and then in Everlane I was ready to buy that t-shirt right then and there I loved the fit of it but I did just want the ones without the pockets so they were able to place an order in the store for me and they have free express shipping if you place the order in the store so I should actually get those within two to three days um, just to show you quickly like the top shop purchases that I came back with I am very excited that I picked bottoms because I feel like I'm always buying like cute tops and sweaters and jackets and then I have the same two pairs of jeans that I switch back and forth between. So I'm very excited about both of these skirts for like layering purposes, especially as it starts to get warmer. So I got the red corduroy one as you saw and then I was able to find the polka dot one in the sale section in the tall range. So the polka dot one was $20, the red one was $30 and on my way out I also saw this being which you guys I'm have a fashion week color palette and this should give you a very good indication of what that color palette is not to mention I'm gonna be shooting a bit of Valentine's Day content coming up on my Instagram and this hat was on sale eight buckaroos so I really couldn't say no so I'm really glad I picked that up too my grand total from Topshop was $58, which is pretty good if you ask me. But yeah, so I am planning on doing a what I bought in January haul video that will show you guys these pieces again and also an order that I placed from ASOS, hopefully the Everlane t-shirts when they get here and also, what was the last thing? Oh, and I did buy something from the And Other Stories sale too. So I will hopefully do a little bit of a January haul slash styling video. So uh, stay tuned for that. If you're not already, I would love to have you as a subscriber on my channel. If you just hit that red button down below the video, it'll notify you whenever there's a new one. So you don't have to like keep coming back and checking. Um, just supposed to make your life a little easier if you like what you see. And also give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful or if you'd like to see more hauls in the future. And I think that just about wraps it up. So thank you guys again so much for watching and for all of your suggestions. And I will see you guys again in my next video. Bye.